In this tutorial we will discuss Jablonski diagram. Let's start with introduction. Jablonski diagram is named after Polish physicist Alexander Jablonski and he is also regarded as the father of fluorescence spectroscopy. Jablonski diagram is a diagram that illustrates the electronic states of a molecule and the transitions between them. The states are arranged vertically by energy and grouped horizontally by spin multiplicity. It is a powerful tool for visualizing the possible transitions that can occur after a molecule has been photo excited. Energy levels The energy levels of a molecule are shown by horizontal blue lines with energy increasing along the vertical axis of the diagram. The bold blue lines denote the lowest vibrational level of each electronic state, with the higher vibrational levels represented by thinner lines. The vibrational levels become more closely spaced as energy increases and eventually form a continuum. For clarity, only a subset of these vibrational levels is represented in the diagram. The electronic states are based on the spin angular momentum configuration of each state. The singlet states are denoted by S and they have a total spin angular momentum of zero. The triplet states are denoted by T and they have a total spin angular momentum of one. Here, S0 is the singlet ground state of the molecule. S1 is the first excited singlet state and Sn is the nth excited singlet state. T1 is the first excited triplet state and Tn is the nth excited triplet state. Absorption Generally, Absorption is the process in which there is radiative transition from a lower to a higher electronic state of a molecule by the absorption of the photon. In this process, the energy of the photon is converted to the internal energy of the molecule. It occurs in a time scale of order 10 to the power minus 15 second. It is denoted by green line in the diagram. At room temperature, majority of molecules in a population will be in the lowest vibrational level of the ground state and absorption is therefore shown to start from this level. Vibrational relaxation. It is a non-radiative transition to a lower vibrational level within the same electronic state. After a molecule has been promoted to an excited state by absorption, it is in a non-equilibrium state and will ultimately dissipate the energy that it has gained and return to the ground state. The vibrational relaxation occurs on a rapid time scale of 10 to the power minus 12 to 10 to the power minus 10 second and outcompetes all other transitions. It is denoted by red colored undulating arrows in the diagram. Internal conversion. It is a non-radiative transition between two electronic states of the same spin multiplicity. A molecule in a higher lying singlet electronic state may also undergo internal conversion to a lower lying singlet electronic state which is shown in the figure. The rate of internal conversion is inversely proportional to the energy gap between the two electronic states. It proceeds rapidly in a time scale of 10 to the power minus 11 to 10 to the power minus 9 second. It is denoted by purple colored undulating arrows in the diagram. Fluorescence. It is a radiative transition between two electronic states of the same spin multiplicity. It is the phenomenon of emission of radiation when there is transition from singlet excited state to singlet ground state. It proceeds rapidly in time scale of 10 to the power minus 10 to 10 to the power minus 7 second. It is denoted by black colored arrows in the diagram. Intersystem crossing. It is a non-radiative transition between two isoenergetic vibrational levels belonging to electronic states of different spin multiplicity. It is an alternative transition to fluorescence and internal conversion is intersystem crossing from the S1 to the T1 state which is shown by the light blue colored undulating arrows in the figure. After the intersystem crossing the molecule will immediately undergo vibrational relaxation to the ground vibrational level of T1. Phosphorescence. It is the phenomenon of emission of radiation when there is transition from triplet excited state to singlet ground state. It is a radiative transition between two electronic states of different spin multiplicity. It occurs in a time scale of order 10 to the power minus 6 to 10 second range. It is denoted by blue colored arrows in the diagram. Delayed fluorescence. The delayed fluorescence occurs when a molecule in the T1 state transitions to the S1 state followed by a radiative transition to the S0, 
which results in an emission identical in wavelength to standard fluorescence but occurring on a longer timescale.